Hello, here I am with a pile of euro paper of pretty limited value. Am I an Irish bank, viewers? No, I'm a continental paper review. And today we've got the countdown to the Classico, two red cards for Real Madrid and one very old joke. First off, Spain. This coming Monday it is the big one at the new Camp in Barcelona with Barcelona against Real Madrid, a game that features most of Spain's World Cup winning squad, the two best players on the planet and, most importantly, Jose Mourinho. Now the papers have been fired up for this one all week. Here, for example, is Marca after Real's 5-1 win against Bilbao at the weekend. Mourinho saying, we're leaders, Barca don't bother us. Sport reply after Barcelona swamped Almeria with a page from Karen Carpenter's diary. 8-0 told you it was old. And here's fellow Catalans El Mundo Deportivo with Xavi, looking a bit shabby in fact, saying beating Madrid is like an orgasm. Perhaps because it guarantees a happy finish to the season. Well going on in this vein for the full week might have proved a little dull even for the Spanish press but luckily there's been the Champions League to distract them and Jose Mourinho's devious two card trick. 4-0 up away to Ajax midweek in the Champions League the manager deciding to wipe clean his players disciplinary records before the knockout rounds so he whispers to the team manager a little map here who whispers to Jersey Dudek who whispers to Casillas who whispers to Sergio Ramos who gets himself sent off for time wasting and the same process works for Xavi Alonso. So, it's not football, is it? In Germany, they were shocked. His build, Mourinho orders his own players to get sent off. The Italians called it a bit of a dirty joke, and there was some tut-tutting in Madrid as well, surprisingly enough. There we were, enjoying another record-breaking rail performance, says Ass, who, despite their title, seem to have made an editorial decision to cease residing up Jose's bottom. And then Mu has to come along and stick his oar in, stripping the team of its best players. Sorry, says Ass, but that's not sporting, and it's not in the Real Madrid tradition of gentlemanly conduct. Indeed, General Franco must be turning in his gentlemanly grave. Well, no such qualms at uh, Marca, where indeed uh, their only headline was Madrid give everyone the jitters after the Ajax game. Uh, the only response to that from a paper that's still so far, in fact, up Jose Saintly Rear, that last week they managed to publish this. Pim, pam, pum. A reworking of Goya's masterpiece, the 3rd of May, in which the depiction of the horror of war and the martyrdom of a nation is vastly improved by its reboot, as a story about Jose Mourinho getting a fine for misconduct. Now, there have been some suggestions that UEFA could increase the bans given to Ramos and Alonso for the calculating nature of Tuesday's red card ruse, but as they say in Ireland, I wouldn't bank on it. Anyway, in case you're wondering why the Classico is being played this time around on a Monday night, it is to make way for Sunday's Catalan regional elections. Elections that actually made the front cover of Marca this week. Why? Well, because uh, former Barcelona president Joan Laporta is standing in them with a promotional video made, uniquely enough, by a Spanish porn star. Oh look, it's Maria La Piedra, apparently. <laughs> Uh, Maria, anyway, generously gave up her time and much of her outer clothing for a promotional film for Laporta, only for him to say that he never asked her for help with his election. Maybe she misheard him. Marker, anyway, were fortunately on hand to offer solace and a two-page interview spread for her to explain how Laporta led her up the garden path and used to snap the strings of her tanga, as political colleagues often do. Well, so much excitement then for the game on Monday to live up to. Let's finish off our review now with a quick mention of some other stories. Now, at Inter, Rafa Benitez didn't get fired because Inter didn't lose to 20. The Milanese indeed smoking 20 in 90 minutes with a Cambiasso goal. And elsewhere, Gigi Buffon is also in the news in Italy. The goalkeeping legend back in training at last this week after months out with a sciatic nerve problem and the centre now in the Italian press of a rumoured swap deal with Manchester United for Dimitar Berbatov. Berbatov for Buffon. There are some uh, injury concerns obviously over the player, but since all he does is stand around watching in front of goal, it should be all right. And the same goes for Gigi Buffon. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, on that note, that's where we come to the end of this week's paper review. We'll be back next week. Hopefully, you will be too.